So I've come back to Suffolk. Um, seems to be becoming a regular haunt of mine. Um, this location, you may well remember, if I just spin that round, I did the beach ups just over my left hand shoulder there a little while ago. So I've come back because I know the beach, I know it well, but it does seem a million miles away from a recent trip to Norway. Now I've been watching the weather whole weekend, it's the bank holiday weekend, and the light just isn't playing ball and I'm sure there's many landscape photographers out there watching this now who will be able to relate to this weekend. It's just been flat, horrible, unexciting light and for landscapes it's just so difficult. I went out this morning, went to a wood trying to look for compositions there and I just wasn't feeling the vibe, it just wasn't happening. I spent all day looking at videos, looking at images, trying to get inspiration and in the end I thought well you just got to get out and try and that's why I'm here now. There's probably only an hour's left of light in the day but I'm sure I can find something. So I've decided to shoot minimalist compositions. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to shoot, absolutely none. Um, behind me the Southall Pier just over there. I, I could look at that but it really is a bit of an obvious thing to go for and I think for minimalism I don't know. I'm looking for something a bit more simple than that. Um, it may well just be waves, stones, anything. But I've got to get an image. The weekend's nearly over with and I've got to get something. So here's to trying. really struggling. I tried the long lens, the 100 to 400, and uh, held it up to various compositions, but just really wasn't feeling it. I couldn't get the depth of field that I wanted to create the sort of image that I wanted, given, um, given the subject matter on this beach. So I've resorted to the wide angle lens, and I've gone for a bit of a classic, potentially a bit of a cliche, really. And um, one of the most effective shots that you can get on a beach is the water as it recedes out very, very quickly. Um, in front of the camera. What I've tried to do to add to that, to give it a little bit more interest is, I've got the, um, the end of an old groin um, just to give me a central bit of focal point. Um, the sky is very, very flat. The shot really hasn't got a lot to it. So it's a very, very simple scene, but you know, simple scenes can be quite strong. And uh, that's what I'm, I'm hoping that this will work out right and that its simplicity will help to make the image a strong one. Um, but it's just timing really in terms of getting the water movement just at the right time when it recedes out and it leaves some nice streaks. I might also try some without the streaks and try some very, very soft, blurry out of focus foreground and see how that looks. But it's a case of just playing around with different shutter speeds um, to see what the effect um, you get and which one you like the most. Um, you can see that the water now has just come in. The problem with that is it does unbalance the tripod so I've got to keep realigning the tripod in between every shot when the water comes so far up. But it's just persistence is what really pays off with a shot like this. Line it up quickly and take that as the, as the water comes up and runs out and you get the shot. The light right now is really, really blue on the back of the camera. Um, it actually looks quite nice. How that will transpire when I see it on the computer screen is to be seen really, but quite happy with what I'm getting so far. So it's just letting the water come up, press the shutter button, and as it recedes, the exposure is taken and you get these lovely white lines. And to add insult to injury, not only am I suffering with bad light, flat conditions, difficult compositions, it's raining now as well and I can't really tell how clean or how water free or smear free as it actually is, the polarizer is. I can just tell there's droplets of water keep appearing on the front. 
spoiling the image. So I really am fighting against the elements here. Just keep shooting and shooting until I get the shot that I like. watching the camera because the water's just swamped the tripod leg and I could see it just tilted. I don't know whether you could detect that on the, on the, on the film but I was a bit fearful that the tripod might end up in the water. Straighten that up. Quite difficult conditions. Really important to try and keep that groin dead central and try and keep the horizon line dead straight so it makes a nice intersection between the two and I've got it placed the horizon line on the third and the groin dead center which is very strong more water on the lens it's just impossible I've almost got to clean it and then shoot immediately afterwards and just hope the water's in the right place. Yes, got it. So just reviewing the images, I'm happy I got something. But the image was produced in horrible conditions and yeah, I'm only in the UK but and it's only raining ever so slightly but it's just when it's blowing against the camera it's so difficult constantly wiping the lens I've no idea at the time where the images are going to be sharp or not the minute you take the cover off and I'm just using a Lee filter cloth to shield the lens the minute you take the cover off there's droplets forming on the lens so you have to be really quick and timing that with the point at which the water is easy is so difficult but I got a shot it's the end of the Easter weekend and I finally got a shot. I'm so pleased that I got something. Um, so that's me done. Very, very short video today, unfortunately. Um, like I said, the light just hasn't been playing ball with me. Otherwise, it would have been much better, much longer and more to it. But it's virtually dark now. I've cranked the ISO up on the, uh, on the video camera there just so I can finish this little piece. Um, and yeah, got a shot. Let's head home, get some tea and uh, job done. So as always, if you enjoyed the content, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, leave some comments in the box below, and I'll see you all again next time. Bye for now.